Today we're going to look at the law of cosines. Our goal is going to be to use the law of cosines to solve for the different parts of an oblique triangle. Please recall that an oblique triangle is any triangle that's not a right triangle. And also that for all right triangles, the sum of the squares of the legs is equal to the square of the hypotenuse. We tend to say this is a squared plus b squared equals c squared, and we know this as the Pythagorean theorem. The question that I have is, in an oblique triangle, is this true? And we, of course, we know it's not. Uh, but we can think about the law of cosines as a way to adjust the Pythagorean theorem for oblique triangles. We know if angle C is less than 90, that C squared, that is side C squared, has to be less than the sum of A squared and B squared. Uh, and the amount of difference that there is, is going to be 2AB, that's sides, side lengths A and B, times the cosine of angle C. So the Pythagorean theorem, written as C squared equals A squared plus B squared, is adjusted, subtracted by 2 times AB cosine C to arrive at the law of cosines. We can see the law of cosines in three different forms based on what part of the triangle we're looking at. Uh, we can look at a squared equals b squared plus c squared minus 2bc cosine a. Uh, we can look at it as b squared equals a squared plus c squared minus 2ac cosine angle b. Or as the c squared equals a squared plus b squared minus 2ab cosine of angle c. Uh, all three of these are essentially the same, but depending on how your triangle is labeled, it might be easier to use one or the other for you. Let's look at an example. If I know three sides of a triangle, uh, previous to this, I didn't have a good way to find the angles of that triangle for most problems. The law of cosines gives me a way to do that. Uh, let's start by looking for angle A. Let's start by looking for angle A. I'm going to use the form a squared equals b squared plus c squared minus 2bc cosine of angle A. Let's start by plugging in uh, the values that we know. I know that A equals 8, so I can plug that in, 8 squared. I know that b equals 19, I can plug that in 19 squared. c equals 14, so 14 squared minus 2 times b 19 times c 14 equals cosine of a. And if I begin to calculate those values, 8 squared I know is 64. 19 squared is going to be 361. 14 squared is going to be 196. 2 times 19 times 14 is going to equal 532. And then I have cosine of angle A. Okay? If I begin to add these things together, I'm going to move these two terms over to my left side by subtraction. So I've got 64 minus 361 minus 196 is going to equal negative 493 equals negative 532 times cosine of angle A. Divide both sides by negative 532 and I get cosine of A equals 0.9267. 
Let's take the arc cosine of both sides. So inverse cosine of 0.9267. And I'm going to make sure that my mode is set to degrees, which it is. And I get cosine of angle A. I'm sorry, the angle A, the measure is going to be 22.07 degrees. I could use a similar method to find angles B and C. Why don't you try that now and see if you can get angles A, B, and C to add up to 180 degrees. I can also use the law of cosines to solve for a side when I have an included angle between the opposite two sides. Let's take a look at how I might do this. If I'm looking for side A, I could probably use the same one I used in my last example. A squared equals B squared plus C squared minus 2BC cosine of angle A. This time, what I don't know is my A squared. So, if I plug the other stuff in, I've got A squared equals 9 squared plus 144 squared minus 2 times 9 times 12 times cosine of 25 degrees. Okay? If I begin to evaluate this, 81, uh, 12 squared is 144, I've got a step ahead of myself, plus 144 minus 2 times 9 times 12 times cosine 25, again making sure that your calculator mode is set to degrees, and I've got A squared equals 29 0.238. If I take the square root of both sides, A equals plus or minus. Five point four one. Since we're talking about a length, I'm only going to use the positive square root. The size of angle A is five point four one meters. Cool. Just like we did on the last example, try to solve for angles B and C using the law of cosines. See if you can get all three angles to add up to 180 degrees.